India's fighter jets soar through the skies, but their engines? Still made by foreign countries. Is this our prize for progress, or a sign we stop dreaming too soon? The hashtag Funkaveri engine is trending everywhere. Why now? Let's find out. If you're curious about the future of India's defense and innovation, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us on this journey. This isn't the India that just worships stardom or battles over movies and heroes in social media. This is the new India, the one that asks the right questions at the right moment, especially when it's about our national security and integrity. India has always dreamed of building its own jet engines, a critical step toward becoming a global military powerhouse. The Kaveri engine project was born from this dream, but decades of delays and challenges have kept it grounded. Now, the hashtag fun Kaveri engine is making waves as citizens urge the government to revive and complete this mission. What makes this project so important? Why is everyone talking about it now? Let's break it down. Imagine a fighter jet with an engine designed and built entirely in India. That was the vision for the Kaveri engine, developed by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, under the DRDO. The goal was to power India's indigenous light combat aircraft, Tejas, with a homegrown engine. But creating a jet engine isn't easy. It's a masterpiece of engineering, one that requires precision, innovation, and years of research. For India, this journey started in the 1980s. It's a bloody 45 years of dream yet to be fulfilled. Despite significant progress, the Kaveri project faced hurdles, insufficient thrust levels, material challenges, and limited funding. From 1980 to 2025, only a select few nations cracked the code of building their own jet engines. The US, Russia, France, UK, and China power their fighter jets with engines made at home. India started this race decades ago, but the finish line remains out of reach. In 2008, it was decoupled from the Tejas program, and India had to rely on foreign engines instead. Yet the dream never died. The Kaveri team adapted its technology for other uses, like powering unmanned combat aerial vehicles. A jet engine is the heart of a fighter aircraft. Without it, even the most advanced jet is powerless. Relying on foreign engines isn't just inconvenient, it's a strategic risk. For example, India sources engines from countries like the United States, Russia, and France. But geopolitical tensions, like recent sanctions, export controls, or diplomatic strains, can disrupt supplies in an instant. Consider Operation Sindor, a recent conflict that showcased how air dominance can decide the fate of a mission. Indian fighter jets smashed enemy camps and air bases with precision strikes, dismantling Pakistan's strategic positions and ensuring a decisive victory. Fighter jets played a pivotal role in protecting lives and securing victory. When your fighter jet's heart comes from abroad, your national security hangs in the balance. Talked about India partnering with foreign companies for fighter jet engines reignited debates. Nation asks instead of foreign deals, why not invest in our own technology? Social media erupted with passionate appeals. Posts like, take our taxes, fund the Kaveri engine, captured the public's imagination. Mangalayan reached Mars. Chandrayaan explored the moon. Brahmos and Akash missiles defend our skies. If we can build these marvels, can't we be capable of building our own jet engine? What do you think? Comment below and share your thoughts. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives like this.